Hey guys, TechGirl88 here. Uh, in today's video, I will be showing you how to speed up your C7 Chromebook um, running Ubuntu with Ubuntu Startup Control. Of course, this is a continuation of my series this week and ways that you can improve the performance of your Chromebook running Ubuntu. Uh, in this particular video, I will be showing you how to speed it up, make the Chromebook run a little bit faster um, on Ubuntu. So first I'll just kind of explain to you what startup control is. Basically startup control, as the name implies, controls what applications are allowed to start up. So when you're booting up your Chromebook uh, running Ubuntu, you might notice it's a little bit slow, it takes some time for everything to load. Um, by disabling certain applications through the startup control, of course, you'll speed up the boot up process and hopefully things will run a little bit smoother. Uh, so I'll be showing you first how to enable um, startup control to show all of your applications and not just a limited um, number of ones. And then I'll be showing you how to uh, use startup control itself. Uh, so first we'll go ahead and um, enable startup control to show all of the applications instead of just some. Alright, and so first, um, the command that we're going to be typing in is actually super long, so it's actually a little bit faster to just look up the article that the command comes from, um, and then copy and paste that into terminal. Uh, so the article that it comes from is called Six Ways to Speed Up Your Ubuntu PC. Um, it's an excellent article on how to geek. Um, has a variety of different ways to speed up Ubuntu. Um, and one of them happens to be through startup control. Uh, so we'll go to this article. And we'll scroll down. And this is actually the command right here that we want. Alright, right click, copy, and we're going to open up a terminal window. Going down here, terminal emulator, and then we're going to just paste. There's our command. We're going to hit the enter key. It's going to ask for our password, which, unless you change it, is just going to be user. Alright, so it's not going to show any kind of confirmation, but the fact that it didn't show any kind of error message means that the command went through successfully, so we're good to go now. Alright, and so now that we've enabled all startup applications to show, we are going to go to the Applications menu, and then Settings Manager. Scroll down to Session and Startup. And applications auto start tab. You can see all these and you want to be very careful, very very careful in what you um, unselect or disable because you're going to see a lot of essential system functions. Uh, so if you don't use Bluetooth you can actually disable the Blue Man applet right here. So I'm going to go ahead and um, disable that of course, if you don't use Ubuntu One, which I do not, you can also uncheck that. You can keep going down. And of course, I've already got chat unselected, but if that's checked, you can definitely get rid of that unless you use it. Um, any other applications that you're not going to use or don't plan to use very often you can go ahead and uncheck here of course you can always go back and check them again if you need to enable them uh, so I've already 
unchecked pretty much everything that I want to uncheck that I know I'm not going to use. Oh, actually, backup monitor, that's another thing I'm definitely not going to use, so I'm just going to uncheck that. And I'll click close. And so, that's all you have to do. Once you restart, you'll, you should notice that your boot up time is significantly faster. And you can do this with other, as you add more programs to your computer, and obviously they start to uh, load in the startup process, you can go through and uh, disable them. And of course, keep this will hopefully keep your computer running fast and booting fast. I uh, hope you like this video. As always, if you have any questions or any kind of comments uh, or suggestions for future videos, feel free to comment them below and I'll be sure to get back with you. If you like this video, go ahead and click like and uh, click subscribe and I will see you in my next video.